Hey everyone, welcome back to Route 66 Restoration and to the new subscribers. I want to say welcome. Uh, I hope you're uh, doing well and working on your projects. Uh, here I'm on the 57210 today. Uh, I wanted to show you kind of what I got going on here. This thing is uh, in need of a new quarter panel. And uh, if you guys have priced a quarter panel for a 57 Chevrolet lately, they're a thousand bucks if you can get them plus freight. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, it's expensive. So, um, I found this, uh, quarter panels is fair shape. Um, it does have a little bit of damage down here on the, on the lower bottom. Uh, so I'm going to cut that off, but un uh, luckily mine's not damaged where, uh, that happens to be. So my, it looked like somebody sideswiped the guardrail with the car. As you can see right in here, the car's got a big old wow. The, the lip is all messed up. So the thing about the, that quarter panel is it's not uh, a sedan quarter panel. It's actually a station wagon quarter panel off of a four-door station wagon. But the station wagon and the sedan seem to have the same height. Uh, I have a, another patch panel that I could have put in lower, but it's actually too long. That This indentation and in this area at the bottom of the wheel well is not in the proper position. So... That was why I couldn't use that one. Um, so I'm going to use this, a good portion of this one. It's not going to be 100% of it. And then I have the other patch panel to go in the on the front side. You know, with everybody buys that same one. And uh, I'll graft that in. So, but that's, uh, that's going to be the next project that we're working on here on the 57210 here at Route 66 Restoration. So, uh, uh, I thank you for joining and I thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on this video as I move along on this part of the project. Take it easy.
Well, we've started the trim. We got uh, part of the quarter off, and now we gotta get some, uh, I think, some Clecos in this thing, and uh, we'll give her a little bit of working over. Well, I have a rusted out spot here in the inner fender well. It goes into the trunk. Uh, this flange is a bit bad shape, but I've cut the spot wells loose with the grinder there we go so should be able to get that piece repaired try to get this back out again i guess so i can do that off camera but just wanted to show you what was going on i got another little spot down here that uh has got a hole and a couple rust holes um so getting ready to uh and then uh I've patched a piece in there Got to grind them welds off. Uh, did some rust reformer up in the corner. Uh, this is the back corner. And then coated some rust reformer on, on the rust that I see that's popping through. Uh, scrubbed it off with an abrasive uh, pad from a uh, two-inch abrasive pad. So anyways, but that's uh, getting these uh, patches put in. So... Another step.
Hey guys, putting a bit of rust uh, uh, undercoating under here. Um, it was rusty in spots, so I treated it with some Extend ru uh, Rust uh, Converter and then uh, giving her a coat of uh, this uh, uh, Iron Armor, that's Harbor Freight, rubberized undercoating. So, uh, got kind of a double whammy of protection on there. Hopefully, she'll last another 20, 30 years. Who knows? Got the rest of the quarter panel cut out today. We're going to put that patch uh, that everybody has to put on the bottom there, but I need to do the inner repair first. So working on getting that taken care of. Uh, you see in the spots where I've cut out. Also had to cut out a spot there in the uh, fender well where it meets up against the floor pan. So we'll repair that. Uh, the other pot spot below it. Yeah. Rusty treated her with extend and then behind it treated it rusty and treated it with extend also down here on the bottom So put rust converter on it Turn it black and we'll probably give her a coat of paint and then maybe some uh, Either that or some rubberized undercoating. So hopefully she'll make her last <laughs> 